Hey everyone, how's it going? So, before we get into this video, I want to put out a disclaimer here and basically say that this is essentially going to be an editorial and kind of my opinions and thoughts on the current state of the DCEU, the DC Cinematic Universe, whatever you want to call it, however it stands as of now, as we're pretty much at the week after Justice League's release, and we've seen all the controversy that that has created. And I kind of want to take a look back and see if this is the time for Warner Brothers to really evaluate where this franchise is currently with the public perception of it, the reviews and things, and kind of see if the brand has been essentially damaged enough to the point where they actually have to reboot it. Because it comes to a point where it's like, do you really want to continue this if people don't like it, etc. So we're going to basically be taking a look at all the movies they released thus far, the original plans prior to this incarnation of a DC shared universe, and where I think it could go with the future movies. So initially before the DCEE was even a thing, we obviously had Green Lantern. That was another attempt at Warner Brothers to kickstart a shared universe. They kind of based it off the MCU model, essentially. It was a very comedic movie, it didn't really land with audiences, and it lost the studio a lot of money, because it had a huge budget, I believe, around 200 to 250 million, because there was so much heavy digital effects in the movie, and it only made about 220 worldwide. So big financial failure, and then after that, they looked to reboot Superman, and kind of use that as a new launch launching pad for a shared universe, if the movie was successful and made money. Now this is where we enter Zack Snyder. So Zack Snyder talked about it and he had his pitch for uh, Superman and everything and then after it came out, you know, it was not widely received like they wanted to, it was kind of a disappointment at the box office, even though it made a lot of money, almost 700 million, but it wasn't the billion dollar movie that they were hoping for. And then once that happened, it would have already been years since the MCU had been going, they had already been on coming up on Avengers 2 and everything, and Warner Brothers was still trying to get a Justice League movie made. It seems like their whole plans for some reason have been get a Justice League movie made and then who knows what's after that because it seems like even though that we've actually hit the mark now, we got a Justice League movie out, but it's not a movie that really a lot of people wanted. So did people really want a shared universe? Because we look back, again, jumping on tangents here, looking back at Christopher Nolan's movies, they did so well successfully, you know, they made tons of money, I mean, it was a multi-billion dollar franchise just off one character across three movies, and people loved it so much, and it was standalone. And now you have Warner Brothers trying to put together and cobble together the shared universe based off of kind of a flimsy start with Man of Steel, and then they rushed into the whole Batman-Superman thing, when they should have just taken the Marvel route, which is reboot Batman, get a Man of Steel 2 out there, a Wonder Woman movie, an Aquaman movie, a Flash movie, and then do a Justice League. But again, Again, they rushed everything into BVS, kind of hobbled together some weird thing that jump-started an entire universe and introduced characters and everything, and then we got to Suicide Squad and all this stuff, so it's kind of like they put the cart ahead of the horse, you know, there's a lot of stuff that was very much rushed, and you can tell in the final product, and it's almost like all these movies thus far, they've made money, but they haven't been hits critically or with the general audiences. They've been very mixed or having a negative reception, so it's like, do we continue continue with this? Do we keep going? I mean, obviously, Aquaman has already been shot at this point. Wonder Woman 2 is definitely happening because that's been their only successful movie thus far, and we know that Shazam is gearing up to start shooting next spring. So, there are things in place already. Unfortunately, it's not like they can really pump the brakes fully unless they were just to say downright reboot everything, cancel all these movies, but that would be way too much money down the drain because you already have Aquaman entirely shot. So, at this point, is there a better bet to reboot the franchise after Aquaman comes out in Wonder Woman 2, or is their best bet to kind of do like a soft reboot, introduce new characters and actors, and just completely shift the tone in between movies and steer away from doing big team-up things and just going back to like more so standalone characters, which kind of seems like what they're doing because according to inside sources, Aquaman and Wonder Woman 2 are going to be very much standalone films where they won't be trying to set up a whole narrative or universe or anything, they're just going to be very self-contained stories, which is also what we heard about Matt Reeves' Batman films. So there's a lot of interesting routes that they can go with this, but I think going back to my original question is, does it feel like the DC brand has been damaged already enough? Like, has it been damaged so far that people really won't turn out for the next movie? Like, say Aquaman is actually a good movie, are people going to go see it? because they've been so turned off and soured by Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, Justice League, Suicide Squad, I mean you had like 
four movies in a row that have been like very mixed and divisive. There also have been rumors that Warner Brothers is completely going to move towards doing like a Wonder Woman cinematic universe which makes no sense really and it's very strange to me. Honestly I think their best bet is to just to go to standalone movies and do like a very soft reboot. I mean they do have Flashpoint as like a wild card in their back pocket that they can use at any point to justify doing a soft reboot within the universe that they already established rather than just doing a completely new universe altogether which would be a very very big headache, cost more money, and confuse the general audiences once again. I also feel like it's well past time to dump Zack Snyder and his vision for the DC characters. Now Zack Snyder is definitely a comic book fan, there's no denying that, I mean all of the easter eggs and references that he's put into his own films, it's clear that he likes this stuff, but it's also clear that he's not the right man to put together a shared universe. If he had just directed Man of Steel and they had someone else come in to direct the Batman Superman movie, and kind of set the tone for the rest of the universe, I think that would have worked. But the problem is that Warner has not only doubled down, but tripled down on Zack Snyder's for the DC Universe. The decision they chose to have it be a director-driven universe rather than have a producer or a creative at the head of this universe putting together what the vision should be was one of their biggest mistakes, which is why they've course corrected and put Jeff Johns and John Berg at the head of DC Films. What they should have done from the start is have someone like Jeff Johns, the creative, map out what this universe should be and have people like Zack Snyder and David Ayer come in and direct movies that adhere to what this universe should be, rather than have someone like Zack Snyder come in, a director, and have input over what the entire universe is going to be and look like and feel like because that's really one of the big problems that they've faced thus far. You had Snyder's input all over the first four films that was released, including Man of Steel, BVS, Wonder Woman, Suicide Squad, and now Justice League, I guess. And hopefully that can change going forward. I really hope that they have more of a direction going forward and not so much adhere to the Zack Snyder style. And I'm really hoping that Warners decide to drop Snyder and his creative team, which included his wife Deborah Snyder, Charles Roven, and the other producers that had gone with them. I think that it's time for the DCEU to get a change if it sticks around. And one of those big changes could be Jeff Johns getting much more of a say going forward because it seems like even though he was granted the president role alongside John Berg, he doesn't really have the full creative control that he should because a lot of times it seems like these suits are getting involved at Warner Brothers like Kevin Sujihara or other executives that for example mandate Justice League to be two hours or other weird decisions that ultimately end up hurting the brand overall when you have someone like Jeff Johns who knows and loves these comics and characters and fully develop what could be a great universe. But what do you guys honestly think they should do with the DCU at this point? Is it salvageable? Is there a way to continue with the actual universe that they have without completely having to shelve everything and start from scratch? Like I said, I think that their best bet at this point is to just focus on the main core characters they have going right now, do standalone movies that exist in the same world, but they don't have to like overly reference other characters, not a bunch of cameos, easter eggs here and there. They just feel self-contained, but living in the same world. I think that's their best but at this point and also if I was them I wouldn't be putting too much stock in other spin-offs like Deadshot, Gotham Sirens, all these type of things like Black Adam, all this stuff because it's just like it feels very like extra things. You don't need to focus on that at this point. I think their main bet should be getting their core characters done correctly before they move into the other things because again if we want to take an example look at Marvel Studios. Marvel put all their stock into building up their Avengers roster before they even considered doing anything like Guardians of the Galaxy, Ant-Man, and Doctor Strange. They built up a trust with the audiences before before they delved into stuff that was much more obscure, which is what I think DC needs to do because at this point DC and Warner Bros. definitely do not have the faith of general audiences that are just going to run out to go see any DC movie. As we've seen with Justice League, it is not doing as well as they projected and it's arguably their biggest film yet. So like I said, drop all your thoughts down in the comments below. Hopefully we can get a good discussion going about this in the comments section about what DC and Warner Brothers really need to do to try and salvage their whole universe. Is it a reboot thing? Is it a soft reboot? Do they focus on standalones? What is really the option here and what is the answer? And if you guys want to get more updates on everything in the DC Cinematic Universe, be sure to subscribe to Hybrid Network.
Thanks again for checking this video out. If you want to get even more updates from us, check out our social media platforms, our website for the latest news and editorials, and if you want to see our content get better, donate to us on Patreon for exclusive rewards.